You know, there's really not a lot of what you would call fame that comes out of our area of Kentucky, here in Northeast Kentucky, but in this case, this story is just a classic example of a local boy making it big. And if you go to Sandy Hook, Kentucky, you will still hear stories about Keith Whitley, and he is certainly remembered with fondness. So today, we take a look at the life and visit the final resting place of country music icon, Keith Whitley. Today's cemetery tour finds us in Spring Hill Cemetery in Nashville, Tennessee to visit the grave of a man that's from the area in which I live. Keith Whitley was Sandy Hook, Kentucky's favorite son. He was born July 1st, 1954, although his headstone reads 1955, in nearby Ashland, Kentucky. As a teenager, Whitley would do what a lot of teenagers would do in Northeast Kentucky, drink bourbon and drive fast. As a matter of fact, he survived a few bad accidents as a result. He performed in a musical contest in 1969 in Ezell, Kentucky. Also performing, another Northeast Kentucky musical artist by the name of Ricky Skaggs. Whitley and Skaggs became fast friends and would begin performing together. They were discovered in West Virginia by bluegrass legend Ralph Stanley. Stanley was late for a show due to a flat tire, and when he arrived, he heard the young duo singing. Stanley actually thought a recording of the Stanley Brothers was playing. It reminded Ralph of himself and his brother, saying that it sounded just like them. Whitley and Skaggs would soon join Ralph Stanley's band. Keith Whitley would begin making his mark in bluegrass and country music due to the versatility and unique sound of his voice. He moved to Nashville, Tennessee in 1983 to pursue a career in country music. Whitley released his first album entitled A Hard Act to Follow, which was met with criticism. Critics would say that it was too erratic. He worked to hone his sound by the time his next album released in 1985. Whitley would achieve his first top 20 country song, Miami, My Amy. He had a few more hits from this album. Also included was the song, On the Other Hand, which wasn't released as a single. As such, it was released later by Randy Travis. It was during the promotional tour for this album that he met country star, Lori Morgan. They began a romantic relationship and married in 1986. Feeling that the songs from the album he was recording were not up to his standards, he asked to be more involved in the production. The album, Don't Close Your Eyes, was released in 1988, and it sold extremely well. Not only did it sell well, the first three singles would go on to become some of the most popular songs in country music history. Don't Close Your Eyes, When You Say Nothing At All, and I'm No Stranger To The Rain propelled him to a win at the CMA Awards and a Grammy nomination. On Tuesday, May 9th, 1989, Whitley spoke with his mother on the phone and was visited by his brother-in-law with whom he was planning to play golf with that day. When his brother-in-law returned, he found Whitley unconscious on the bed. He would be rushed to a local hospital where he would be pronounced dead. The Davidson County Medical Examiner would list the cause of death as acute ethanolism, which is also known as alcohol poisoning. After his death, black ribbons would line Music Row in Nashville in his memory. In his short but poignant musical career, Keith Whitley had 15 songs hit the top 40, including five number one songs. This included a posthumous number one song and others on the charts after his death. Keith Whitley now rests here in Spring Hill Cemetery in Nashville, Tennessee. I had done a brief visit to Keith Whitley's grave on my channel before and I just did not feel like, it was early in my channel, I just did not feel like that I gave him a proper tribute so I wanted to come back and tell this story really from a perspective of someone who is from very, not quite from his hometown but I live pretty close and 
I can't overstate the impact and the influence that he had on this area. People still talk about Keith Whitley to this day. You know, other artists in this area, they still sing his songs and still try to be like him. And, you know, just the impact of his songs. And not only do they have uh, in this particular area, but really throughout country music itself. So I wanted to come back here to Spring Hill Cemetery. He was actually the only grave that I visited here, although there's others that I could have uh, could have visited. I specifically came here to visit his grave today, and there are different things I could have went over. I mean, his struggle with alcoholism is no secret, but that, that's been told time and again, so I really don't, I don't want to get into that on my channel. I mean, let's face it, we all have things that can be hard to overcome, and that just happened to be his, and I want to honor his life and his musical legacy here today on my channel. So glad to be able to pay my respects to Keith Whitley in Spring Hill Cemetery today in Nashville, Tennessee. You can still go to Sandy Hook, Kentucky today. You will still hear stories of Keith Whitley. He is still spoken of with kindness and with fondness. And if you watched a lot of his interviews, I mean, really, he pretty well talked about Kentucky and all of them. So he never forgot where he came from. As such, the people here will never forget him his voice, his kindness, and from what I hear, he was just a great guy. So, so glad to be able to be here in Spring Hill Cemetery. There is still a Keith Whitley Memorial Ride where motorcycle riders will begin, I believe, in Sandy Hook and ride here to visit his grave. And if you notice the lantern on the grave, that was left here by the Keith Whitley Memorial Ride. So, you know, I actually visited Keith Whitley on one of my earliest videos, kind of before I got this newest format so i never felt like i gave him a proper tribute a proper memorial i wanted to come back and and do just that so thank you all for watching i'm going to leave links in the description where you can find me facebook instagram my merchandise i'm very interactive so if you want to find me on facebook uh, drop me a message i would love to hear where you're watching from if you are a fan or have heard of keith whitley please leave a comment below i would love to read those as well we have just passed 20,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. I want to thank each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, it is totally free. Just click on the subscribe button and the little bell notification will be right beside of it. Click on that. That will let you know when I release new videos. Thank you for joining me on this tribute to Keith Whitley. And once again, from Spring Hill Cemetery in Nashville, Tennessee, I will see you again soon.